direct elimination right now. As you can see, the scene doesn't look very natural. The shadows are completely black. And you can't really tell where the sphere ends here and whether it touches the floor or not. Um, and all the stuff in the shadow is completely invisible. So the reason for this, of course, is that we're not taking the indirect bounces into account. So only the points on the surface which see the light directly uh, are getting eliminated. So now, in order to compute the indirect elimination, as uh, we previously talked about, we have to create this voxelized representation of the scene. So here's how it looks like. It's still running in real time. You can now see this voxels uh, sort of being rendered uh, live. Uh, and again, the color coding here essentially is the, the same as I described. Uh, red color depicts fully solid surface. Blue color uh, depicts uh, fractional um, coverage or uh, the amount of fractional coverage that voxel represents. So this is a passive voxelization. This is basically just the amount of matter which is contained within each voxel. So now the next step, the second step in our algorithm is to uh, do light injection, right? And light injection, uh, of course, happens um, uh, on, on the same voxels, which are, again, directly visible from the light source. And this is kind of how they look like. Um, um, the top of the sphere uh, obviously sees the light directly. And all the light, which is, which is hitting the, the surface of the sphere, is getting injected in this region here, similarly for the smaller uh, sphere here. The walls of the box uh, are also composed out of voxels, even though it's not entirely obvious here. It's essentially a grid, a wall of boxes, uh, little cubes, which are voxels here. So now, once we computed the results of uh, light injection, we can do cone tracing. And the result of cone tracing is essentially this. So this is, again, just the indirect elimination uh, without any direct elimination, which we're seeing here, uh, to gain this uh, bright sort of red interflection from the red wall uh, on the left. There's a green uh, color bleeding from the green wall. Um, and the walls themselves sort of, you know, create interflections all around uh, the scene. So now, again, the final step is to combine the final this result is of the XGI. This is what you get. Uh, if you follow all the steps as, as we described them, as you can see, the spheres are not perfectly diffused. And if you look carefully, they kind of reflect the structure of the box here. There is a right, you know, a red wall here. You can kind of see it here. Uh, there is a green wall here. Um, and there is an opening 